This will be for the Khan assignment, Probabilities of Compound Events. You've decided you want a plant for your room. At the gardening store, there are four different kinds of plants, tulip, fern, cactus, and ficus, and four different kinds of pots to hold the plants, clay, plastic, metal, and wood. If you randomly click, pick the plant and pot, what is the probability that you won't get clay or cactus? So, I would write this as a tree with the branches, but we might not have enough room. So let's just make like a table here. We have tulip, fern, cactus, or ficus. Okay? So this is going to be tulip. We'll put FE for fern. Cactus. And we'll put FI for ficus. Alright? And then for the pots, clay plastic, metal, wood, all right, clay, plastic, metal, wood, we have to do that for each one, clay, plastic, metal, wood, all right, so ignoring the, the column headings, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, there's 16 outcomes. So that's going to go in the denominator. And they want you to find the probability that you won't get clay or cactus. So we basically have to eliminate all the ones that are clay or cactus. Now, for the column headings, the cactus was this column right here. So we're going to scratch off these four. Okay? Because we don't want to get cactus. And the other one is for clay. So we scratch off one, two, three. Three. Okay, we already eliminated that one. So we had 16 in total. But we got rid of four right here. And then for the clay pot, we got rid of three more. 16 minus four is 12. Minus three is going to be nine. And that's over 16. If they want us to reduce, I'll reduce that fraction. Otherwise, I'm just going to play it safe and leave it alone. So in the box, I'm going to type 9 slash 16. Okay, so they don't make you reduce the fraction. If you flip three fair coins, what is the probability that you'll get a head on the first, tail on the second, and another head on the third? Okay. I think we can use the tree for this one because we'll probably have enough room. So the first flip is going to be uh, heads or tails. Okay, and then from those, from there, those are each going to be heads or tails. And then from the th on the third flip, each of those are going to be heads or tails. Okay, so how many possible outcomes do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight outcomes. All right, so eight is going to be in the denominator. And we want to find, we want to find the probability head on the first tail on the second, and head on the third, okay? So if we want head on the first, we're going to have to get rid of all of these right here, all right? So this whole thing 
is just going to get canceled out. So if we started with 8, we just removed 4 possible outcomes. All right? And then we want to get a tail on the second flip. Okay? So this is the second flip right here. We want to get tails. So we eliminate this, which is going to be these two outcomes right here. Okay? So we just lost two more outcomes. And then finally, a head on the third flip. So the third flip here is tails. We're going to eliminate one more. So really, there's only one way to get a head on the first, a tail on the second, and another head on the third. Head on the first, tail on the second, and another head on the third. There's only one way to do that, so it's going to be 1 out of 8. And we proved it. 8 minus 4 is 4, minus 2 is 2, minus 1 is 1. So it's just going to be 1 out of 8. So just enter that in the box. You just type 1 slash 8. Elizabeth lives in San Francisco, works in Mountain View. In the morning, she has three transportation options, bus, cab, or train. In the evening, she has the same three choices for the trip home. If she chooses randomly chooses her ride in the morning and evening, what is the probability she'll use a cab exactly one time? So I'm going to write out the options in the form of a table. Okay. She, she travels in the morning and the evening. Okay. And in both cases, she can take the bus, cab, or train. Okay, so you ignore the column heading, and you can see we have 1, 2, 3 times 1, 2. There's six outcomes. All right, so that's going to be in the denominator. And they say, what is the probability she'll use a cab exactly one time? All right, let's see. So we have to find the cases where she used the cab exactly one time. Let's say she uses the cab in the morning. Then we would have cab bus and cab train. So that's two options. All right. And then let's say she uses the cab in the evening. We would have cab bus and cab train. That's another two options. All right, I made a mistake on this one. Let me fix this. So let me write out the combinations again. All right. And she travels in the morning and the evening. Okay. So I'm going to use B for bus, C for cab, and T for train. All right. Uh, the first letter will be what she uses in the morning, and the second letter will be what she uses in the evening. All right. So for bus... She can do bus in the morning, bus in the evening. Bus in the morning, cab in the evening, bus in the morning, train in the evening. Okay, and then let's do all the ones that start with cab. Cab, bus, cab, cab, and then cab, train. And let's do all the ones that start with train. Train, bus, train, cab, and then train, train. Okay, that makes more sense. So there's actually nine outcomes. Okay, because three times three. So nine is going to be in the denominator. And they want to know the probability that she uses the cab exactly one time. So we have to eliminate the ones, or just find the ones where there's only one C. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 
So it's going to be 4 out of 9. So just enter that in the box, 4 slash 9. 